hello amazing people welcome 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 back to my channel how are you guys doing i hope each one of you are doing great thank you so much for tuning in again like the love is too much i do not take you guys for granted thank you so much for always coming back to support me and for those that just joined the family you are highly welcome okay thank you so much for being here i really really do appreciate and if today is your first time of coming across my channel you are highly welcome as well my name is Macy. i'm a nigeria youtuber currently living here in germany with my family so guys today's video is going to be a part two of the video that i did last year about a cultural shock i had here in germany please if you have not watched that video please i will leave the link here in the card so that you can go ahead and watch it i talk about the basic things and things that i experienced immediately i landed here in germany but today i'm going to go a little bit deep okay so if something that interests you stay to let's dive into the video gonna make it to morning. so the first cultural shock that i'll be talking about today is cashiers in grocery store in supermarket being extremely fast guys the first time i went to grocery store here it was kind of so so stressful for me the fastness was in a high level because i remember in nigeria in a grocery store you can even have a conversation with the cashier and after the cashier there's somebody standing by to pack your items but here in germany is a different case yes here you need to be mentally and physically ready to pack your items like like fast guys like fast so the tip i'm giving to you if you are new here in germany and you are going to the grocery store please go inside with shopping carts okay so that when they are throwing those items you have to be putting them there after then you have to you know take your time and pack your things inside your bag because if you are packing it inside the bag while you are still there, it's going to be so, so stressful for you, okay? So, Germans, they say is efficiency. They say is a time waste for nobody. That time is money, okay? Time now money, time now money. Yeah, so they need to be very, very fast. So, but now I think I'm getting used to it, yeah. I think I'm getting used to it. So, guys, the next cultural shock that I'll be talking about is a it is illegal to hit a child here in germany yes being it in public being it in the school being it at home you don't have any right to hit your child so i watched a recent video about the video hitting his daughter you know it raised a lot of um eyebrows okay people we are commenting people we are complaining to be honest if he's here he'll be going from one lawyer to another by now yes so for me there is a uh, many ways you can correct your child without hitting them i remember back then in nigeria you know some children went a lot but in the hands of their parents in the hands of their guidance in the hands of their you know their other ones yeah despite my mom have not hit me i think my daddy have hit me like once or two times and seeing all those things i promised myself that when i have my own children i will definitely not going to hit them like seriously there's a many ways like many ways you can correct your child without hitting them i find this law here in germany very interesting and very very important so guys, what do you think? Do you think that hitting your child is the best way to correct them? Please leave your comment in the comment section, okay? Yeah. So guys, the next cultural shock I had here in Germany is television tax. I know someone will ask what is television tax. Like in every household, you need to pay television and radio tax. It's kind of compulsory. Even if you don't have television, even if you are not watching television, like you have to pay for it guys you have to pay for it for me for the first time it, it was kind of weird you know i told my husband but we don't normally watch television here he said that is a composite thing in each household you definitely need to pay this uh, television and radio tax okay so and if you don't pay it like every month they, they need to be bringing like bills upon bills and like here we we pay like 17 euro every month so if something like 17 euro every month you keep you know postponing it you keep complaining calculate yeah, 17 euro like in a year so the money will be high so pay it even if you are watching or you are not watching but back then in nigeria there's nothing like that that is another cultural shock for me another interesting cultural shock is germans keep 
and respect the rules like guys like during this uh, COVID-19 like each entrance being it in supermarkets or in the school like there is a sign on the floor that you have to follow for those that are going in and for those that are coming out like and everybody is keeping this rule everybody is keeping to it they love to keep and respect you know rules you know even the kids they will follow soon as well since they see that mark you know that this is for the entrance this is for those that are coming out and everybody is keeping to it so guys another cultural shock i have here in germany is like everybody here in germany is a police like if you mistakenly do something bad like you see somebody beside you yelling at you you know complaining like i remember one day when i was going to the school with uh, my kids so one lady just crossed a traffic light while it was red because she looks left and right there was no car coming so as she crossed like this old woman beside her was yelling was complaining that she's a bad person that she's teaching the kids a bad thing like seriously the lady said but there's no can come you say it doesn't matter you need to keep to the rule yes guys so everyone in germany is, is a police like is a police so be careful everybody is watching any mistake you make you see somebody yelling at you you see somebody complaining yeah so <laughs> that is it but in my country i don't think anybody cares any, no, I think no, nobody cares except those that in charge of that. Yes. And so another cultural shock is it is normal to be right or left-handed person. Remember when my first child wanted to start a primary school here in Germany? So they gave us list for the school materials here. So when I went to the bookshop, I realized that I have to buy scissors for her. I couldn't find the place the scissors was. I have to ask one of the attenders to direct me where I can buy the scissors. But the, my, to my surprise, you know what she asked me? She asked me if my daughter is left or right-handed person. I was kind of surprised. So here they have provision for the right and for the left-handed person. It's normal, it's not a wrong thing to be left or right-handed person. But I remember back then in Nigeria, like, guys, this one really concerns me. Like, it concerns me because I was born to be left-handed person. But because of the society, because of uh, our mentality then, everybody was shouting, you are a yellow if you are a left-handed person you are not going to marry like guys i went through a lot i went through depression because i was left-handed person even when i go to the church instead of me to pray for that do you know what i was praying for? i said god please change my left to right like i don't want to be left-handed guys it was a big deal for me it was kind of a shameful thing for me to be left-handed then you know they'll be shouting on you you are a lady because of your left-handed person you are not going to marry a lot of things guys Guys, in my country, you know, it's kind of abnormal a lady to be left-handed person. Yes, so but here is, is a different case i remember then in my primary school i used left hand in my secondary school from jss1 to js3 i was using my left hand but when i was in ss1 guys i was not even concentrating on my study i was just like a baby who is just learning how to write guys because the complaints was too much like my mother complained like every day like every day every time so i don't have any option than to start learning how to write with my right hand guys it was difficult for me only some of my teachers noticed because in my jss1 to js3 i normally have like a first or second position but when i started using my right hand i was not even concentrating on my study i was only just you know trying to learn how to write with my right hand okay some of my teacher they complain they say what is happening messy then i have to tell them and even my handwriting changed everything like don't even concentrate on the school because i was trying to change to the right hand guys it was it was not easy for me it was not so i find it amazing here that uh, it is a normal thing to be left-handed or to be right-handed person so it was a shock for me yes so guys that is the end of this video i hope you enjoy watching if you're watching up to this moment god bless you okay so i will leave you guys here to in my next video see you guys in my next video bye bye Mwah.